I wonder if this is how it's gonna be in the future, man. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Data and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Planet Explorers. I'm standing on top of my generator, which I need to fill with some wood, if I do remember correctly. In just a minute since I played some Planet Explorers, but I have been uh, missing it quite heartily, yes indeed. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to not fall down this fucking cliff, which I forgot was right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Ah, here we go. Alright. Knock the tree down. Don't die. That's 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 a good start. Okay. Get this, get this. Don't let it fall down the hole. Not not the hole. The crevice. It's a giant crevasse. You see? Do you see? And uh it seems I am healing. A little bit tired, but that is gonna be fine for now. I just want to uh to get some wood in my generator. And I'm still not sure how to uh, split this stack. Control shift, sh control click, shift click does not work. Right click, uh, not really working either. So I'll just stick the whole thing in there. It's good for five hours, that, that should be enough. I'll probably die before any of that happens. <laughs> so uh, we've got some reinforced walls, reinforced wall with door. I probably should make some of this stuff just so I can get to unlocking the uh, the other bits and bobs that I have waiting for me. Oh, I need some fucking some wood for this thing, not the generator. I'm a derp. Hold on one second. We'll just jetpack over this way. That's the nice thing. I got a jetpack. Help me out. Help me out here. Uh oh. Okay. It seems this tree didn't hurt me when it fell on me like the last one did. So uh, thank you. Thank you for having some mercy. Oh, can I get, uh, biomass from these plants? I guess not. I just zapped the ground a little bit. Nearing exhaustion. Fantastic. I'll get a little nappy nap. I just want to, uh, make sure everything's, everything's in place so I don't die in my sleep. You know, that's, a, that's really important, to not die in your sleep. Step one to living is, uh, not going to sleep. Or, if you do go to sleep, not dying in your sleep. <laughs> Where's my fucking... There it is. Oh, my drop pod is over there as well. So, if we found the... Oh no, it's a different drop pod than the uh, the other one we had. So I guess that's not gonna work. Here, let's, let's take some of this stuff out. Can we do that? That's gonna be real nice. And then we'll put some biomass in there. There you go. Craft it up. Uh. Uh, craft it up. There we are. Electronic parts. I need a, a bigger, a bigger backpack or something. I apologize for uh, the burpage. Sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Slightly thirsty. Oh God. I don't have any. I don't have any of the any of the other thing that I need. What's the other thing I need? Water. Yeah, that's the one. God damn it. Um, get out of build mode. Finish this up. Shazam! Not enough resources. Oh, we're missing the composite parts. It, it should be in here, shouldn't it? Did we make another one? Oh no, it's here. Duh. There. You happy now? We Are we, are we square? Alright, that's looking pretty good. So now let's uh, open with C and connect the power to this one. All right, now I need to uh, get some some goodness going in here. Put some fruits, I guess herbs, why not? Need some biomass. Oh, I gotta fucking put some water in there. I guess it doesn't need biomass either. I'll keep this. Oh, it does need biomass, what the fuck? We don't need the fruits. The fruits is what we can eat. I get it now. Uh, unprocessed herbs with rejuvenating abilities can be toxic in high doses, but you can create a medicine with it. Fuck, where can we get some water? Where can we get some water? There's gotta be a fucking stream or something around here somewhere. There was previously. That's why this is uh, called Planet Nomads, I guess. You're supposed to stay on the move and stuff like that. Oh god. We need some rain. We need some something. Oh god. 
it's not going to be good. I guess I'll split my water with the uh, with the generator. I'll give it just a little bit after I uh, have a little drinky drink myself. And now there's water fa falling from the sky outside, just to taunt me. God damn it! Okay, okay, let's drink some of this water, and we'll eat some food. And I'm gonna drink that last water as well. It's, uh, it seems to recover 30, so I'm going to be a little oversaturated. No, it just goes to, uh, to exactly what I would expect. Okay. Oh, we need dirty water? I guess it has some minerals or something that is, uh, crucial. Oh god. This is not good. Well, can we eat some of this, uh, this other plant? Some of this fruitage can be toxic in very high doses. I guess very high doses is okay. We're not going to get very high dose. There, look at that. And then I kind of want to uh, build a little shelter at least. I think I need a couple of frames and a couple of uh, metal sheets. So we'll get that going. What is the uh, door? We also need, what is that fucking weird cat, catty tail? What is it? Catty wallow? Something like that? Maybe we're not going to be able to build the door. I don't know for sure. Let's see. Can I build one of those things? I guess not. Oh well. <laughs> Put that out of your mind. Can make some fabric. Battery. I probably do need some batteries. Let's get some batteries going. Make one of those. Actually, we'll make we'll make two or three batteries. How many do I have right now? I have two. So yeah, we'll just make the one. Get myself back up a little bit. All right, excellent. So now I reload my battery. Yeah, now we're not using suit power. And uh, I'll go to sleep, I do suppose. Okay, you good night. Exhaustion. I thought the I thought that was my my sleeping bag. What is this? Oh, it's bandage. God damn it. Wasted a bandage. How could I do this? All right. Go to sleep, little astronaut man. Sleep for 8 hours. God, it's going to be dark. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Tired. We can survive in the dark just fine. There's my little meter. Oh! Oh! It rained at some point. Yep, it's still raining. Okay. That's fine. Do I have uh, some fruitage? Some more fruitage? No, I still need the dirty water. Oh, fart. Can I make a rain collector or something like that? That would be a good idea. <clears throat> Probably need to unlock the rain collector, so let's pull these things out and we'll make some walls and hopefully uh, move on to the next, the next process. The next phase of this building process. Compact container, I think I made already. What do we need? Ceiling panels. I guess we should make a base foundation. But, yeah, is it, is it even worth it? I mean, there. I guess we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we always do. There we go. Have some of that gonna need some more goods. We're running quite short on iron. And it doesn't seem like this place is too rich in resources or anything like that, which is kind of unfortunate. Or maybe I just chopped all the trees down. <laughs> ah, slash and burn, slash and burn. That's how we do. Uh-oh, extreme temperature. We need to get in some fucking shelter, which is what I'm trying to make right now. We'll see how that that portion of the building goes. Uh, windowed outer wall, reinforced outer wall. I want this fucking door, but I don't know why. Why can I not... There. Build this. Make the door! I don't want to go the other way because it's going to uh, be facing facing outwards, right? Is that correct? I guess it's okay. There we go. How's that? 
We'll see. We need mechanical parts. Mechanical parts. Have I unlocked mechanical parts yet? I guess not. It's electronic parts, sleeping bags. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this is for. Oh, it's for crafting multiples. I see. I should probably have been using that this entire time. It's a learning process, don't you know? Usable. Equipable. Yep, we ain't got too much, uh... Too much to do here. I kind of fucked that one up. Let's make a couple more frames. And then I can at least use these fucking platings that I have sitting in my inventory. So we'll make two of them. Craft two frames for me. Thank you so much, 3D printer. You've been so amazing. I wonder if this is how it's going to be in the future, man. You just put some materials. You're like, oh, I want a, a Bart Simpson doll. And then you just stick some fucking silicone in a thing and you're good to go. You're fucking good to go, bro. What do we need? Okay, let's do a... Uh, an outer wall so we can wait on the fucking door I guess I guess we'll wait on the door hmm and you probably need like a corner piece as well from what from what I'm seeing here um drag it out a little more is that that doesn't fit why does it not fit oh it's got to be like that there we go now weld this shit. Bam! Unlock ceiling panel, unlock item dispenser. Well, that's a, a good start, I guess. Used to create a roof and a new floor in your buildings. So, one of each. Plating and frame. That'll be good to go. And what was the other thing? Item dispenser. Utility? Hmm. Where is all the things that I need? Solar beacon. Small, fairly cheap light to mark points of interest or directions on your compass. Ooh. Doesn't require electricity. Item dispenser extension for conveyor ports allows blocks to wirelessly transfer items within your invent or to your inventory. Huh. I don't I don't necessarily see a need for that or use for that. At least not at first, but it, it does sound like a, a very useful block. Um, my brain just doesn't brain too well until I actually start experimenting with it. So let's get this uh, ceiling panel. How about ceiling panel? There we go. How about that? We're making some stuff already. My door still doesn't work, but I guess I guess that's fine. We'll make do. Composite parts, basic frame. We're gonna need to go find some iron. Or some some rocks of some sort. There's a rock. Maybe in the crevasse there's more rocks. This is a big ass fucking rock too. So hopefully this will give me all of uh all of what I need. Which of course it won't, because I need an infinite amount of things. Don't you see? There we go. The last of that rock has been consumed. Let's fly over to this rock. Hey! Coming to save the day! Gotta make good use of that jetpack because fall damage in this game is pretty fucking insane. You take like a little trip. I guess if you if you have a spacesuit on. That shit's not light. You're wearing 60 pounds of gear. Who knows what the gravity is like on this planet. I should probably also make a, a light beacon, it's just in case I get lost, I can find my way back. Ooh, this looks like a big rock full of iron. Yes, I will take these. I slipped into my Brandar voice for just a moment. Oh, because Brandar does like to take things, doesn't he? Doesn't he? And if you don't know what I'm talking about with Brandar, please see uh, my... Oblivion slash uh, Morrowind slash Skyrim playthrough. All RP'd and uh, all fantastic in my own little personal opinion. Which, you know, doesn't really count for much. <laughs> I am the slightest bit biased. I will go ahead and admit that now. Um, we need one more. 
Here it is, plating. And then I'll get my wireless item transfer going. Which, I don't know, I don't know. I just don't know. How's that gonna work? Experiencing a little bit of a little bit of lag now. As we open up our inventory. Jack tool. A simple tool for easy vehicle building. Place on the ground and build on top of it. But how do I get that that mechanical part? That's what I really need to get this uh this show on the road. Maybe I have to build a better um a better generator or something like that. Right now my 3D printer is pretty weak. Item dispenser, jack tool, indoor lights, compact armory. Ooh, creates equipable items, jetpack suits, multi-tools, weapons, and batteries to operate them. Its compact size limits the size QE and storage base. QE. <laughs> it's Q. Silly. Silly Billy. But I also need fucking um, mechanical parts for that. Medium 3D printer. That's probably what I'm looking for. Okay. So first, let's build a solar beacon. This is the uh, the first thing on the on the list, I do suppose. And we'll just stick it right there, right? I guess that's gonna work. Not enough resources. Need electronic parts. Electronic parts? Okay. Alright, fine. Gotta load some more stuff in here. Some more carbon. Some more iron. We've got a good amount of everything now. We fixed that right up. And, um... The printer inventory should be, like, a little bigger in my opinion. But I guess it's the emergency inventory, so you're not meant to use it, um... 100% of the time. It's usable for now, though. I will take. I will take. I will do thing with this. There we go. Switch. Hmm. Probably needs to be a little bit higher up than that, doesn't it? Switch on, switch off. Okay. Pretty simple. I know what to expect from that. What was I needing for the, uh, the medium printer? Two frames, two platings, two electronic, and two, uh, other component shits. Two composite parts. Okay. So craft me a couple of... Well, sure. Do the fucking frames first. Why not? Two electronic parts. And two composite parts. Yes, this is going to go quite nicely, I do think. Oh, I actually probably only need one of those composite parts, don't I? Yeah, go ahead. This block has full storage capacity. Oh, fart. Yeah, please, uh, compact things as much as possible. That would be super nice. Hmm. Seems I'm using a lot of iron, so okay. Drag that there. Alright! Now we're cooking with gas. Ain't that the truth? So I want to keep it full, but not too full. Does that make sense? I guess that makes sense. Uh, so I got two of those. I need one more component part, please. Thank you. Oh, it wouldn't let me queue it up because the storage was full. Okay. I understand what you're saying now, Planet Nomads. We're on the same wavelength. Becoming tired again? All I've been doing is standing here trying to figure out how to build shit. Okay. That's fine. How about one of these? Wouldn't you like one of these? I don't want to put it too close to the base just because I think I'm going to end up uh, expanding a little bit. Unless I end up dying. Oh, we gotta, gotta connect the power. That's right. Connect the electricity here. Alright. Now we got some mechanical parts. Xehanite, Cobalt, and Titanium. Oh fuck. We've got to get some more, some more goodies in order to build these. Oh, the basic components are only carbon and iron. So, okay. Let's do a little, uh, a little swip swap. Go ahead and drag all the shit out of this one. If you would. Alright. And then I could probably even remove this with my multi-tool. Yay! 
I think I uh, got the parts back. No, just removed. Okay, I'll take it. At least I know that I can remove things now. Oh, and I probably want to put these on the lower, the lower part. While it will put, make it a little more difficult to manage my inventory, it will make it easier to uh, pull things out. Which of course is uh, super important. Let's make like five of these things. I'm gonna end up needing these for some reason. It seems to go in into most things. Look at this, more composite parts, got battery cells. ALM, active laser medium. Wow. Okay. Most useful in multi-tools and such. Battery cell, used to fuel battery blocks for vehicles. Oh, so we need to have some, uh, some goods in order for our vehicle to make its way across the landscape. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. I still need some fucking dirty water, though. Damn it. Where am I gonna get my dirty water from? Ah. How frustrating. Ultimate in frustration. But at least I figured out how to get the uh, mechanical parts going, so. Score one for Dayton does. Here we go. Finish this off. We need two platings. Okay. Can you make me a couple of platings? MK1 plating. Thank you so much. I guess I used those platings that I had reserved for the door in something else. Because my inventory space is just so limited. It's alright. One step at a time. Gonna do awesome. Look at that. Hey. Our first moving piece. Aside from maybe the generator, I guess. Open. Close. Open. Well, I still don't have like a fucking roof or anything. Maybe I should finish building the roof. That would be a good idea. And I, I, I could swear this thing is backwards. I screwed something up here. But okay, that's fine. That's fine, everything's okay here. Uh, jack tool. Four mechanical parts I have. I need the components and the frame. So let's make a couple of uh, composite parts. Not component parts. Composite parts and a frame. Congratulations, this concludes the basic tutorial. What? I didn't know I was in a tutorial. Are you gonna unlock all the parts for me now? Hooray! I win. I'm such a wiener. Okay. So now I can build my jack, correct? Simple tool for easy vehicle building. Place on the ground, build on top of it. So I probably want to uh, put it somewhere relatively accessible. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know if it needs power or not. Let's put it here. How about... Then I can climb on top of the generator. Uh, it might be too close. That'll suck. I'll just build the... Uh, build the, 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 the thing outwards from there. And of course I'm missing some fucking composite parts. Did I not take them? Is this, is this not good enough for you? Why are you not satisfied? Answer me! Alright. Wonderful. We've got a good amount of, uh, of metals in there as well. There we go. Unlock 2x2 two two cockpit. Hell yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Um, 2x2 <laughs> two two is going to be way too big. I'm scared to take this thing apart because it's going to, uh, it's going to not be good, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, let's eat some more pumpkin. That'll make me feel better. Yeah. It actually recovers, uh, water as well as health, or hunger, Extreme rather. Temperature warning. Extreme temperature warning! I'm now in a well-fed state. Driving and control unit is the cockpit. Necessary part of every vehicle defines the front direction of vehicle has a wider size. So I guess we'll make the 2 by 3 That seems like a good idea. I don't really need the compact container. So frame, plating, glass, and then four of the composite and electronic components. Okay. 
That's fine. What do we need for the glass? Yeah. It's gonna be good. And I uh, keep forgetting to do this double up. That makes it much easier instead of clicking around. And then I need four composite parts, if I remember correctly. And four of the uh, electronics. Where are those? Level one electronics. I hope it's only level one. Because I don't know where to get titanium and silver. All this bullshit. Used in high level parts, right? Used mostly in active blocks. Well, we'll have some active blocks pretty shortly, I do think. I hope I don't need more frames. More frames or glass. I thought it was just two, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to check it. Not quite yet. And I'll go ahead and drink my last water since I am thirsty. Oh God, we need to find some fucking water. That's a, a big, big part of the reason that I'm trying to build the vehicle so quickly. Also, just because I want to uh, be a planet nomad and drive around in my fucking vehicle. That shit's gonna be awesome, bro. But I gotta, I gotta do all the necessary work first, and then we can have our funsies. Alright, so, uh, where's my cockpit? Here it is. Um, I guess make it face that way, right? There. Excellent. I don't know how we're gonna get it off the jack. Alright! Look at me! I'm in the cockpit! <laughs> oh, we'll get uh, some more building done in the next episode, friends. I do hope that you've enjoyed this. This has been Planet Nomads. I think I was calling it Planet Explorers, which is another game that we'll probably get to at some point because I love this world building and crafting stuff. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did, and uh, I will bring you some more Planet Nomads quite shortly. We will keep this show rolling. And uh, pretty soon we'll be on the road actually rolling, so that'll be pretty nice. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And exhaustion's coming, so we're going to sleep pretty early in the next episode. <sighs> Join me for it, the, the wonders of sleep. <laughs> Anyways, friends, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, and until then, bye bye One, two, three... Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.